Joe Biden apparently told Barack Obama that he intends to run for re-election in 2024. I think this is something that we all suspected anyway. But the latest report, reporting comes from The Hill. Two people spoke to The Hill on condition of anonymity. But regardless of whether or not they were anonymous, again, we kind of expected this to happen. The anonymous source told The Hill, quote, Biden wants to run and he's clearly letting everyone know. I believe he thinks, get a load of this, he's the only one who can beat Trump. I don't think he thinks there's anyone in the Democratic Party who can beat Trump. And that's the biggest factor. Oh, they're so out of touch. I just, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, you can't use the same lie that you used in 2020 after you've already served four years and made it abundantly clear that your policies or the way that you've governed is unpopular. And, and we're gonna provide evidence of just how unpopular Biden has been. Um, and he wasn't always unpopular, uh, especially with his base. But we'll get to that in just a second. Um, he's indicated uh, this in conversations before, by the way, uh, during a press conference in Brussels last month, he told reporters that he'd be very fortunate to run against his rival, um, you know, Donald Trump again. Also, uh, you should take a look at his poll numbers. They're not doing so well. So the argument that he's best suited to beat Donald Trump is a little crazy. So let's go to Derek Thompson. He is a reporter over at the Atlantic and he shares some of those poll numbers on Twitter. Something very interesting and troubling happening with Biden's approval rating among young people, which has collapsed by by more than any other age group since January of 2021. So 18 to 34 year olds, he has lost 19 points among them. Uh, individuals with no college degree, uh, he's lost 20 points. Uh, Hispanics, he's lost 26 points. And even with uh, black voters, he's lost 30 points. It turns out that things like voting rights, uh, the child tax credit, all of that stuff, pretty important to people uh, who happen to make up your base. Yeah, so uh, they're asleep at the wheel. They, Democratic establishment only has one play, which is make sure uh, that the most corporate candidate runs, the one that is least interesting, the most boring, and the one that um, uh, lies the most. And so we'll run our uh, standard play, we'll pretend we're gonna deliver for you guys, then deliver for our donors instead, and then get the mainstream media to lie on our behalf and say that we did a great job. Okay, well that play's not working anymore. Because so what, what and their mainstream media is flummoxed. They can't figure out why Biden's not doing well. Oh, gee, I wonder why he's not doing well with younger voters. Maybe because he said that he would do student debt relief to the tune of ten thousand dollars, and he can unilaterally do it, and it turns out it was a lie, and he never did it. And in fact, the press is not even following up on. He said, "Oh, I'm going to get a commission to study whether I can do it unilaterally." That commission came in months ago, and he's never revealed what they said. You know why? Because they probably said he can do it. He can do it unilaterally. And he was lying all along and he doesn't want to do it because his donors don't want him to do it. And mainstream media thinks, oh, well played. Great job, Joe Biden. Okay, don't worry. We won't tell anyone that you're a liar, right? Well, guess what? You're not the only show in town anymore. So now there's tons and tons of other media and people found out. And they told uh, black voters, let alone everybody, <laughs> let not, not just black voters, not just Democratic voters, but the whole country, oh, we're gonna end that absurd gerrymandering, we're gonna get voting rights, etc. And then they're like, oh, but a couple of corporate Democrats uh, disagreed. So we screwed you over, we're not gonna do any voting rights. Oh, Gee, I wonder why you lost so many points with black voters. Yep. But people that are in Washington, both the Democratic Party and national media, they're so clueless that they genuinely don't understand. They're like, I don't get it. We always screw over our voters. Well, let's why are they? Why are they bothered? Let's talk about how clueless they are. Um, so I take you to this tweet from Zach Bucamp, Buchamp. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but here's what Bullshit. he says. Uh, Biden's collapse with young voters is kind of mysterious. Mysterious. Get another job. Become a plumber or a dentist. I've heard a lot of theories. But I'm not sure any one of them is all that convincing. Oh, that's so, so sad. Okay, um, uh, uh, you, don't have, you don't have to look at too many theories, okay? I'll, I'll show you exactly what the problem is here. So let's look at graphic nine, okay? This is a graph that shows Biden's 
dipping popularity, okay? The number of people who approve versus those who disapprove of the job he's doing. So as you can tell, the blue line indicates the percentage of voters who approve of the job he's doing. So looks like most people approved of the job he was doing when he passed the American Rescue Plan. He signed it, okay? That was the COVID relief bill under his watch. Then we get to COVID related matters where Delta becomes the dominant variant. And people, because of COVID fatigue, because of the fact that Biden said we're gonna combat it effectively and by you know 4th of July, you'll have your barbecues and everything will be fine. Obviously, he doesn't have complete control over variants and things like that, but he started dipping there. But where you start seeing the most pronounced dip in his approval ratings is where the infrastructure bill is signed, but clearly we don't have the social spending component to it. And you don't have the permanent implementation of the child tax credit. You don't have a win on the voting rights bill. You go through this nonstop excuse factory of, oh, I couldn't do it because of the parliamentarian. I couldn't get you a $15 an hour minimum wage because of Joe Manchin, Kirsten Cinema. Excuse, 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 excuse. Ordinary Americans don't care about excuses. They want to see results. So I. You tell students you're gonna cancel their student loan debt, and then you lie and say, we don't know if the federal government can do that. We're gonna have a commission study it. People aren't stupid. They want to see positive results from the individual that they spent time and resources campaigning for, supporting, voting for. And if they don't see that hard work pay dividends, they're not gonna show up to the polls again. And more importantly, when they're asked how they feel about Biden or any given leader, they're not gonna have favorable things to say. They're not gonna respond well to these polls. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's all based on assumptions. Your assumption as a normal person in America and a voter is, well, if the, anybody says something, you assume that they're gonna do it and that they mean it. And if it turns out they didn't mean it and they didn't do it, you get kind of annoyed by that, right? But for reporters in Washington, they think, oh, a politician is supposed to lie to you. And of course, they're never gonna get anything done. The minute they get into office, they're gonna go, oh, but the parliamentarian and my bum knee, and I had a headache the other day, and, and a mansion wouldn't let me do it. And oh my God, where it's 50-50, what was I supposed to do? Be a leader? No, I'm just gonna, and next election, I'll lie to you all over again. And reporters think that that's the game. And before, when there was only one media, groupthink in mainstream media, and they always told you corporate politicians are awesome, and they never told you about their lies. Well, that did work for a long time, to be fair to them. Now, though, they can't adjust. They're like, why? So why are people telling the truth? That the Democrats won't be popular. Look, we can't stand Republicans. We're worried to death that Trump is gonna win. And the fascists are gonna take over and end our democracy. So we want the Democrats to do the things that they promised. The numbers crater the minute that he says, "Oh, I'm not doing any of it. I'm not doing the voting rights, I'm not doing the student debt, I'm not doing Build Back Better, I'm not doing any of it. And oh, there was nothing I could do. The only one I passed was the corporate infrastructure bill. Everybody in Washington gives him a standing ovation, and the rest of the country hates him for it. Here, I just solved the riddle for you. All right, maybe you should collect that guy's paycheck. But for now, why don't we take a break? No, no, he's <laughs> paid to be an idiot. Like, so he's getting his paycheck for the right thing. To be like, oh, I mean, Democrats, of course they're not gonna deliver. I mean, they're doing a great job. They're doing a great job of doing goddamn nothing, right? Oh, You progressives, you're never gonna be satisfied with. I mean, just because we gave you a nothing burger, you're not satisfied? Yeah, yeah, we're, and it's not just us, apparently the whole country's progressive because nobody's satisfied. 